At this year's 2021 Game Awards, Epic Games dropped an awesome tech demo for The Matrix Awakens. This isn't an actual game, but just a way of Epic Games to show the power of the Unreal Engine 5, and it does look really impressive. Members of the original movie team, including Lana Wachowski, have worked with Epic Games on this, and even features performances from Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss. The Matrix Awaken is a free demo that you can download on the next gen consoles and on PlayStation 5 it was 25 gigabytes. It starts off with a really awesome chase scene which genuinely feels like it's putting you as part of a movie and after that you can freely explore a section of a city. It is really cool exploring and I will show you that at the end of the video but first I want to show you the tech demo footage. I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that, why we want to make X instead of Y, where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people. How do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? preparing me to fight the system. Right on. Do you know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. Word of advice. Agents are bad. But whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon.
you're gonna get a kick out of this. At this point you are now free to explore a section of the city and it really does look extremely impressive. I cannot wait for the next gen open world games to come out. This runs awesomely on the PlayStation 5. You have uh, three different ways of getting around the city. You can use this free cam here or you can just walk. You can also take any of the parked cars that you see around and drive them as well. They also stuck a few landmarks around the city that will give you a bit more information on the city itself. As I mentioned, you can drive any park car in the game, which is there to show off the damage collision. You aren't able to hit any of the NPCs, they just fade into code when you run through them. But you can see the effects of the cars when you crash into them, which is really satisfying just to fly into a head-on collision. Playing around with these collision effects can be quite funny just to do and I would wanted to see if I could get like a full car pile up but sadly if you get too many cars together toppled over they will just disappear. The disintegration effects when they do is awesome though. They give you a cool menu as well where you can start playing with the Unreal Engine itself so you can change the position of the sun in the game as well as change the traffic and pedestrian count as well. You can also remove the matrix filter to give you a look at what the game world looks just normally in like re more realistic sunlight. And there is a photo mode as well if you want to capture some photos around the city. 
And the photo mode lets you adjust the exposure and focal length as well as aperture, which is cool. You can also look through all the underlying building blocks of the city as well, which is kind of cool to look at and play around with. The drone that you can use to fly around is really cool to see some of the detail they put into some of the, the buildings, especially at the top. Sadly, though, if you want to stand on top of that building, uh, you won't be able to. If you go into uh, third person mode, you will just spawn back down on the city. As far as I'm aware, this is only available on consoles, which is a, such a pity because I would love to see modders get their hands on this and just just play around with it. Like, I'd like to see more interaction with the NPCs. I'd like if you could, like, fire some weapons or something like that. I honestly would love a bit more of a sandbox feel to it. But genuinely, when you're walking around the city, you can't help but go, wow, there is so much potential in this Unreal Engine 5. And open world games are just going to get so, so much better. The introduction chasing is awesome and genuinely made me want to get this game. Of course, it is very scripted and I did play through it while trying my best not to kill anyone, but like... It doesn't matter, like, you can't die in this at all, even if you refuse to fire. Sometimes it will just automatically fire for you if it needs that car to blow up. But it is cool to see that you are able to impact the world. This is 100% worth downloading and having a look and just messing around for a few minutes, 100%. So I highly recommend if you have one of the next-gen consoles, definitely check out this tech demo. Let me know in the comments what you think of this and would you like to see this game actually made and have missions and story and plot and everything because I know I would absolutely love to. Massive thanks to everyone who keeps supporting this channel. You're awesome, especially to the members. Alright people, catch you all later. What are you doing? Later.